What's and up, guys? Welcome back. And thank you for coming. <laughs> guys, Um, I first of all, I don't want you to say anything about the fact that this blanket kind of blends into my sweater a little bit. Oh, it really does. It's it almost the same. It kind of looks... I don't know what it looks like. It's this This is Susie. <laughs> yeah, this is the extension. She's keeping me warm. And you can see I'm, <laughs> I'm keeping me warm, but I'm also kind of controlling her in yeah. a sense right i am but in exchange for warmth i have very little choice yeah so it works out very well it works out yeah especially for me um oh my god my dasher's nearby let's throw to the intro okay cutting go thank you go the strumpet drops and tarts thank you for oh, you're I'm, the I'm, the I'm bean Taco Bell. Oh my god. Okay. Mm. I this dragon my <laughs> dragon dragon my ball fruit is so good. Dragon my ball what is it called? <laughs> <laughs> it just says Dragon F Z it says Reg Dragon Fruit F Z. This reg dragon my ball fruit fizz. <laughs> It's it's actually very tasty. I tried it. So thank you, Bernice. Mm. It's the least I can do. Um, okay, I said I wouldn't eat. On I the think podcast, you should. I think it's funny. As you can see, we do have Crunch Fap Supreme. At- oh. oh! You keep <laughs> doing. <it>. Oh! <laughs> it's the second time you've done that. First order of business. I think it's the nails. I think it's the nails. <laughs> No, you guys weren't here for this What's part. No, Alfie's gonna eat my crunch fat. Alfie, please stay away Alfie. from the crunch frat. Frap. <laughs> the frappuccino. Um, you guys weren't here for this. Bean couldn't put the board on the wall, and she kept blaming the nails. It is the nails. I've never done anything wrong. Crunch fat reveal. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this whole episode is an unboxing. Mm. <laughs> he stole the drink tray. Oh, you know what? I'm going to let him take it because he seems happy. Okay. And that's what parenthood is. Mm. It's about letting your kids have things that they shouldn't and just resigning yourself to that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what I just wanted two bites. You can have more. I mean, I... No. You're the one that has a problem with the eating on air, but I think it draws on a whole new demographic of mm. viewers. Mukbang content. Mukbang. Mukbang. Um. Mukbang gangbang. There's there's, there's Alfie oh, chewing sorry. on the drink tray. <laughs> that was an inside thought. Okay. Now I've had two bites. I'm nourished. She's. <laughs> I'm ready. She's ready. We have our Dragon My Ball fruits across. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> love freeze. Dragon My Ball fruit. <laughs> Dragon My Ball fruit across your face, Supreme Surprise. <laughs> yep, that's what it's called. That's what it was on the menu. I saw it it's myself. Cra- Taco Bell's crazy. They're fucking crazy, you guys. What do you get, Brendan? I got a uh, Baja Blast. More like a Baja Blast. <laughs> a ball? Uh, I don't know. Is that what you said? I'm trying to keep it all in No, theme, I liked you it. Know? I, was just, I was trying to confirm that's what you said. A ball... Ho- yeah. A ball hall of- <laughs> <laughs> When I die, I hope I go to ball, ball hall. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be waiting for you there. They'll oh, they will be. Well, it's um, it's been a minute. Hey guys, hey welcome. dude. How many months has it been? Two, two, three, maybe. I don't know. Four, maybe four, perhaps. Um, but we're back. Cheers. Hey, cheers. Hey, cheers. Cheers. Oh, there's a hair stuck to my che- Oh, there's a hair on mine too. Uh oh. This I don't clean my home. I don't. Dirty home reveal. It's nasty. <laughs> 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 um. Excuse me. Sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, we're fucking. We're back. We're back in a Jesus big way. Jesus Christ, we are back in a big way. It is not over. 
<laughs> it is only just beginning. You guys keep thinking you can stop us? You keep commenting, it's so over. No. <laughs> it is so just beginning. It's actually friend. just begun. <laughs> You guys don't even fucking know what's coming. These are, these are the rising actions. No, that's not. Or, this is the exposition. <laughs> yeah, all of that was yeah. exposition. Ex- uh, the last four years of doing this? Oh, five years? Uh, we're coming up on five, baby. Exposition. exposition. <laughs> what comes after the exposition? The climax. The later. I don't know. Hmm? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. So yeah, pretty much yeah. Guys, I have a lot to fill you all in on. Just drop my mic. Hopefully that doesn't screw up the audio. <laughs> okay. I just we sound like two <laughs> We sound like this is our first episode. I know. Whoa, we're oh just drop my mic. No big deal. Here's I'm the thing. I think we peaked in the first couple oh. episodes. I think we need to go back to that. Oh man, it's been a while since I've listened to those. Yeah, I don't know that I ever need to I, again. Not until one of us is dead, probably. What did you? What were the you know, if one of us dies, oh. we'll listen to the. All we the were. Episodes. I think we were texting about that. Yes. Yeah, I was like, thank God we have this podcast because if you die, mm-hmm. which is I, likely, <laughs> very <laughs> likely. <laughs> I will have this to listen to. And mm. I assume vice versa. You would likely listen to one or two episodes if Like I a died. couple, yeah. yeah. I'd send Brennan timestamps, finally. <laughs> Wait, this bit was kind of funny. Wait, this bit was funny. We should post this clip. <laughs> it's at my feet. You know what? You get famous posthumously. <laughs> oh. No, because I could be like, I used to have this podcast with my best friend. Oh. And then she tragically died from a diabetes accident. <laughs> Di- <laughs> Because you hid my insulin from me because you were- As a prank. As a, yeah, it was like pretty funny, actually. It was a funny prank. I didn't think you needed it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And you know, it's uh, it's an honest mistake. And now our podcast will pop up because I'll say, yeah, my best friend died in a tragic diabe- a diabetes accident. That's awesome. Her dying wish was that you guys- Subscribe, finally. Subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Comment below. <laughs> Comment R.I.P. <laughs> Susie in heaven. <laughs> and ball. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Full circle, baby. Full We're so good at this. We, okay, speaking of full circle jokes, Brendan and I had the absolute pleasure of attending an improv show that our, I'm going to say our, I'm throwing it out there like a big way. Our nieces and nephews were in. Oh, what? It was amazing. That's so cute. It was so cute. And here's the thing kids are so funny and like a lot of them are very self-aware of like certain funny things they're doing and Mm -hmm. it was a very cute show because it it had elementary schoolers and middle schoolers and they did some like group improv and some i gotta say that's kind of brave to put middle schoolers in an improv show oh be like yeah they're not gonna say anything they they were just really funny that's amazing i was so impressed the things these kids came up with were like so genuinely if you ever fear for the future, like I urge you to like like go I mean, to a middle school improv in a not show. creepy way. <laughs> and I I must emphasize that in a not creepy way, spend time with like kids, you know, that you know and your community like if you can because they're so funny and they're so it's just it was such a joy. It was, just it was such so a treat. sweet. But the other fun thing is my my nephew, he is he's one of those people that loves to be on stage loves attention Aww. and so at every improv thing he was like tagging in like six or seven <laughs> times it was so funny like he was definitely hogging it a little bit yeah, but i of like kind of love that but look dude you hog or be hogged you exa- know? no like that's it yeah. like when you're doing improv you gotta get in there get you, in know? There. you have an idea you gotta step in that's so cute it was so fun it was great the i thing, love it the thing that i learned um Boys love just being on the ground. Oh, um, yes, that they, was the other thing. All of the boys. It was just the boys. I think there were a few girls too, but the most girls of like the, the boys. ground too. But yeah, they, girl, hey, but they loved. They loved to just flop on the ground. Flop down. That is kind of like peak humor. You know? Yeah, like, you, fall, you down. fall down. It's like, oh my god. Because the thing is, they all commit it, and it's like a hardwood floor <laughs> falling down. <laughs> They're not afraid of anything. They are not afraid of hurting themselves. <laughs> That's incredible. I mean, it looked like. Every single one of these, these improv uh, 
masters, <laughs> dare I say. These legends, yeah. All of these legends just like had had like stunt person training and just knew oh exactly God. how to safely fall. No, it's Did they impressive. safely fall? I don't know. It didn't look like any of them got hurt. Kids are resilient. We used to play. They really are. We used to play on the trampoline because we had a trampoline with a net. And we would have people run around the outside of the net and people inside try to push them off. <laughs> And, here's and the that's thing. like a, I mean, that's got to be like a four foot drop or something. I do remember as a child being like, that is, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and rightly so. But I remember falling and it would knock the wind out of me. And then I just and get up. Said, Let's go. Alfie, no digging. I'll be no. please. please. I'll be please. I'll be please <laughs> read. After, uh, on our big comeback. Alfie, this no. This is our big comeback. He's wreaking havoc. He he always does. He's hitting the cords with his tail. He's digging. He says, no, you guys. No. Guys, parenthood is hard. I don't know what to tell you. Um, That's tough. Okay. But the other, th- the reason why the callback reminded me is that they were also really good at, like, there would be a bit or a scene that they did, and then they would bring it back up. Like, wow. they would do a Callbacks. full circle callback. And it was so... I'm like this. This girl's 13. How are they like so good at comedy? Anyways, they're That's legends. That's so amazing. It was so cute. It I'm was. I'm glad they're gonna do that at a young age too. I know. Yeah. So the kids are all right. The kids. Hey, the kids are more than all right. They're better than us. Are they gonna save us? No, no one can. They. I mean, they shouldn't have to. They should get rid of us. Yeah. They should and they get will. Rid of us. But they'll be okay. They'll be fine. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that was really fun. Um. What else? What else? What else? You guys. What else? What else? What else? What else? Well, we already covered Crunchfap Supreme. Supreme. We. This did say Susie and Brund. We're Born. running out of letters. We're running Born. out of letters fast. Tell us about that. Well, you guys. The day we're recording this, April fifth. Our roommate's twenty-first birthday. Mm-hmm. The day. We're posting this. Who the hell knows? <laughs> by the <laughs> way, say Maybe what's happening in the world? Monday, so it might be the day after my birthday. My birthday, April seventh. Mark that down. Put uh, it in your Google Calendar. Repeats every year. Every fucking year. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will be turning twenty six years young. Hurry! You're gonna be joining me. I'm always like four months ahead. of I you. I know it's really fun because. The moment you turn your age, I actually start telling myself I'm that old. So oh, that's by the good. By the time the birthday hits, I say I'm 26. I still like sometimes think I'm 24. Oh. And I'm like, no, girl. Yep. No, every, I think I'm really stuck. Either I'm 17 or I'm 23. Yes. I can't yes. get out. 23 is a good one. 17, yeah. 23. It might be that way forever. I'm going to be like 40. be like, I'm 20. Oh, oh no, wait. I'm no. 51, <sighs> actually. Yeah, I'm 68 years old. It's 26 is a good one. You're past your mid mm. 20s. You're into your late 20s. <laughs> <laughs> you are headed towards it. The beginning. And I'm going to be honest. I'm. Uh, it's, it's fine. You know? Oh, no, um, I feel good about it. I don't want to. I feel because every time I hear somebody else complain, they're like, ah, and I'm like, shut the hell up. Age is fake. Age is, you know, but then when it's me, it's important. Yeah. Of course. Um, I think that I'm like, my 30s are going to be great. God, let's hope. So the 20s are uh, such a struggle. It and is. I'm like halfway through, basically. We are. Well, yeah. And it's amazing to think about like when you start your 20s. Oh, like, my God. Where baby. You're at? Yeah. I know I'm still like kind of a baby, but right. like. A 20-year-old, a 21-year-old, no offense to McKenna. No offense. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You're a baby still. Happy birthday. <laughs> we love you. I, here's the thing about her, though, and I hope she listens to this because I know she does listen to this podcast. Mm. I'm constantly shocked by, like, what she's capable of. No, I'm always surprised when she reminds me of her age. Yes, because I, I'm like, when I was your age, I was, you know, like, I just, I'm like, what? Just... So, Rotting. but it is, it's, it's true that just in the grand scheme of things, I mean, cause that was five years ago for us. Oh being 21 Lord. Was five years ago. Horrifying. We were just talking about how being 17 was nine years ago. No. Literally that blows my mind. I don't know why that one in particular. Yeah. I just feel like I was 17, like three years ago. It feels you know? so fresh. So, like I was just there. The pain. Is so The pain, fresh. the the immaturity yeah and, and the belief that you it's funny because i guess that's just a very pinnacle age of feel you're yeah. on the cusp of adulthood 
you are, are not very, ready at all yeah you're not ready you're you're very independent and i think that is a very big age where you're, a lot of your friends start dating mm-hmm. or they start doing other things you're really trying to find yourself and it's such a bad time but also a good time at certain yeah. you know like there's just a lot of things um before i get too off topic into delving into our teen angst right which we have a lot of we have much Still. to discuss and i will be bringing this back up shortly okay um Brendan's birthday is three days after mine, April 10th, 1994. You know what that means, you guys? It's a big year for him. Brendan, do you want to tell them what the secret is? I, 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 I think they can do the <laughs> math there. He's turning 30 years He's young. turning 30. He's turning 30. Yeah. He's entering his peak. Because <laughs> I think 30s are going to be peak. I think they sound lovely. Like, so, Brendan, let me know. Brendan, let us know. I will be dating we'll a thirty-year-old man. <gasps> Isn't Susie, that that's crazy? Fucked up. Isn't that fucked He's up? He's grooming you. He's grooming. <laughs> I'm literally getting groomed right now. <laughs> literally about to be groomed. Isn't that crazy though? Because now we're at this age where, if 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 you're 26 and you date no, you know I'm about to say it doesn't matter. It's gonna be like if you're 26 and you date a 40-year-old, that's almost not weird. As I was coming out of my mm, mouth, a little weird, but it is getting there. Right. We're, I do feel like once you're 30, you can date any you can date age, any, any age, age above 30. You can date a 70-year-old, and I won't even. Fight. I would just feel like you know what you're 30. <laughs> like <laughs> she's 30, she can decide. Girl, yeah, you, can do, you can't be groomed anymore. You're can't, good. Hey, I can't be groomed. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing it out there. I don't know if that's true. I what? am immune to grooming. When, when does grooming stop, <laughs> dude, dude, dude? Okay, you know that Garfield poster? It's like you are not immune to propaganda. It's like you are not immune to grooming. And it's Garfield. Tr- like, I'm just curious. What's I, th- I think I think anyone could be taken advantage of. Well, that's yes, and that but is yes, and that is and that is essentially what grooming. But is. when we use grooming, we generally mean like it means young, young, immature people. Being groomed for like relationships with old, much older people. Yeah, and so I, in that sense, I think that can be okay at any age. No, it can be. It, listen, anyone can be manipulated or abused, most right. certainly. But specifically, when is it like? Because if a twenty-one-year-old is dating a forty-year-old, it doesn't matter. I'm like, you've been groomed. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, right? that's because you're so you don't know much. You about don't know the world. <laughs> anything. But there is a certain age where we stop that. It's yes, I, gu- I guess because it's it, then it becomes just a more individual thing where it's like this person is more naive, yeah, and this like kind of weird six year old is like, like this is not a good relationship because you're you're so naive. Yeah, I I feel like honestly I feel like twenty six might be like the where like around where I'd stop. Yeah, worrying as much. Yeah, but thirty for sure, for sure. So I'm I'm grooming Susie. Is that right? So no, because you guys have what a four year age gap. Yeah, that's not big enough. No, I know. It's Unless small. she was sixteen, you were twenty, or fourteen, eighteen. Fourteen, eighteen. I was thinking about that. How it's interesting that my freshman year of high school was his freshman year of college. That's crazy. creepy. <laughs> Creep alert! Creep alert! Wee! <laughs> look, look, we were we were going through the same cycles, you know, <gasps> starting a new thing, oh, yeah, right. yeah, starting a brand new thing, because because like that. that was when you just started going to high school, mm-hmm. just that is actual crazy. actual like not homeschool. Oh, good point. So oh, like, yeah, and I went to college, you know. But it doesn't matter. Any, you thing. didn't know each other. It doesn't <laughs> matter <laughs> anymore. We, you know? Isn't that amazing? We never did it cross my mind that this specific man existed. That's so cool. And now he's here. It's kind of weird home. if it did, right? You're just. Well, it's super interesting because, like, it makes sense kind of why we met because Susie, Susie has roots in California, where I'm from. Mm hmm. And where I was you both had grown up. Bumble. Not even. And not we even, both have apps. On our phone. <laughs> not even just roots in, 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 you know, California. Roots in the Specific same town. City. Where uh, my parents grew up. Cause, cause and your mom grew up. It yeah. is quite serendipitous. My mom, in the nice my town. mom went to school with her dad at the same time. Damn. And yeah, they dated. Okay, no, so they they've didn't. been like grooming you guys For, since before since, you were born. Yeah. I went to the same high school as Susie's mom. 
That's at crazy. the same time, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, we dated. He <laughs> makes that joke all the time, and it's funny. Just kidding. Um, uh, big, big age gap. It is funny. You never know, because you know, these tiny little moments can change your life. What if you guys didn't swipe? What if you accidentally swiped left and you're like, oh no? Oh my god, I know. Isn't that crazy? It's spooky. Um, Ooh. I was probably Chills. not a good uh, Bumble candidate because I did just swipe right on everyone and hope for the best. <gasps> That's what you have to do, right? If you're, a, I'm like, I, a I like man, wasn't even, man. I like wasn't even paying attention. You're I'm just, just like, like mm-mm, okay, mm-mm, swipe, swipe, mm-mm, swipe, 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 swipe. A little bit, Brendan. Look, it's what you got to do. No, but then when you message me, I like looked at your profile. I'm like, went, thank God, went, thank God, I swiped right. God. It's 90% men oh, on no. these dating apps, yeah, guys. It's, true. it's just a numbers game. And you know what? I still remember the first message I sent him. He said something about <sighs> something about a Pokeball and Pokemon. And, <laughs> and it works. Somebody has... No, but the second part of his, his bio was that he said that um, he had a wedding to go to in October. And he said he needed a date. And he's like, is that you? And then I said, both of you to assume that society will still exist come October. Because right? <laughs> this is 2020. This right? was it was 2020. 2020. Yeah. That's fun. This is like July 2020. That's he fun. Said something. I don't know. I'm a narcissist. I, don't I love attention. stuff like that. So you was this, what was this, June? July. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So you invited her to a wedding, essentially. Yeah. Months was out. Fun. He invited every woman that looked at his profile yeah. to that wedding. Yeah. Well, it is fun because I remember when Rendar and I were first starting to hang out, like September, November. He's like, "You should come to Passover, my family's <gasps> Passover." Oh my god! And I was like, "Oh hell yeah! When is it?" He's like, "April." I'm like, whoa, "Damn, whoa, this, whoa, whoa, we've been man. hanging out for like one month." And That's you're like, so awesome and aggressive. I love this it. This woman will be around for Passover still. And you know what? He and was it fucking right. Because I couldn't break up with him. I wanted to go you to wanted Passover. To go. He I'd invited never been. You. Yeah. He invited and me. And pretty much that's why I'm dating him because I'm just like, just one more Passover. Just, hey, just one more. You're and just then like I'm an out. addict. One I'm more. like, I just, <laughs> I just want to eat that horseradish so bad. That is so bold. I love that. Mm-hmm. An, an, an event in April. In, in I know. I idea. tease him about it all the time. I'm like, that's, cr-. I mean, I guess theoretically if. I would be uninvited if we yeah, if something happened, true, right? Yeah. But he just, he just knew. Yeah, he knew. He what? looked at you and said, "She's coming to Passover." She's coming to Passover in yeah, April. Hunched over right. woman that this little Quasimodo. When's, when's Passover <laughs> this year? <laughs> uh, it's April something. It's the end of this month. How do I get invited to Rendare's Passover? It's a good question. Because the thing is, below how Brander, can Susie and Brendan come to Passover? See, because it's not his Passover. Right. It's his parents' Passover. But if he invites you guys, we're in. Then we're you're in. in. We finally made it in. I don't have the power right. to, to invite you to Passover. But someday we'll probably do our own Passover. That'd be fun. Yeah. It's a fun. It is a fun holiday. Is that you get so, really drunk? So Passover. <laughs> yes. The whole thing with that is that you'd mark a sign on your door. Yeah. So we. This we is s- this is when we killed the babies, right? <laughs> yeah. So we start off. Oh, yeah, this one. <laughs> yes. We start off. We slaughter a lamb in the middle of the table, smear the blood on the door, and then we look through the peephole until the angel comes by with his sword, and then it's like, oh, and then we're like, we're good, Mazel Tov, and we drink a bunch of wine. And then we dip the pinkies in the wine and we go, death to the firstborn, death to the firstborn. <laughs> that last part is the only part that's real. <laughs> that was incredible, start to finish. That, that was incredible. the best part, though, because you d- you dip your pinky in wine and you, you shout every plague oh, from wow. the Exodus Moses story. And yeah. the last one is death to the firstborn, oh, death man. to the firstborn. I was like, this shit's crazy. I love a ritual. I lo- I was like, I get why people are scared of Jews. You guys are. <laughs> <laughs> Just okay. kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Every religion oh, is my equally God. weird. <laughs> okay. Okay. Moving on. I said what I said. Also. But you do get really drunk because you're supposed to. There's all these. It's a whole thing. There's this whole thing you read, and you're supposed to take drinks it's a whole, whole deal. Yeah. when you say certain things. And it's like it's like this weird drinking game where suddenly you're like fucked up, and you don't even yeah. realize it. Yeah, that's kind of. It's I really mean, fun. Yeah. 
I'm a big fan. I know it's not the most fun holiday, but I like it because... What is a fun holiday? You know? <sighs> I mean, Rosh Hashanah, you th- I mean, Jewish holidays. Oh, I was singing in general. Oh. Halloween. Yeah, I was that immediately Halloween. Halloween. Um, President's Day. Pre- what do you do on President's Day? Yeah, what's Day? your tradition? You, you guys don't know what to do with President's Day? You read up on all the presidents, <laughs> and then you quiz your friends. Oh. Uh, who was the fattest president? It's Taft. Taft. Taft, the guy who died in the bathtub. The guy right? who died in the bathtub. Or got Very stuck good. in it. I feel like that's fat phobic, but that's everyone. That's what everyone remembers. Who it's was... not that he was fat; it's that he died in a bathtub. Okay, you could be, you could be skeletal and die in a bathtub, and people will remember that. I bet there's so many presidents that have died in a bathtub, but they were skinny, They're and skinny, nobody remembers, so no one cares. <laughs> people only give a shit when fat people die in a bathtub. <laughs> Um, I mean, a lot of people do die in bathrooms. I almost did at one point. Same. Amazing. We both. You passed out too, right? Oh yes. Yes, I and passed out in the bathroom, out. hit my head on a pipe. Yeah. You passed out, or did you pass out, or did you almost? I don't know if I fully passed out. I it was came like very that. Close. The biggest one is when I'm just trying to get out of the bathtub and I like, slip a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh dude. It's really scary. <laughs> I've got an intricate hair routine now that includes, like, I put gel in my hair in the shower while it's, like, really wet. Okay. And yeah. then I squeeze it out Ooh. of my hair, and the the, the make... floor gets so slippery. Yeah, I'm like, that's... It's, like, mat. actually dangerous. You yeah, I should get a In the bathtub? Yeah. No. You put, like, a little, a like, bath plastic bath mat that I has, like, a bunch of suction cups. I thought those were pretty gross. Okay, bitch, you are slipping and sliding on your tub. They get I so nasty. You. I don't give a shit. Put one, they get like moldy. Put one in your fucking tub. <laughs> you know what you do? You put it in your washer on the cold water cycle, and then you can clean it. Hmm. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do instead. I'm gonna wear tennis shoes. Yeah. <laughs> in the You're right. That's true that's because better. that's less gross. You'll that's know I'm better. showering if you hear like. A I mean, those are my shoes. You could just get shower <laughs> shoes. Those shower are my shoes. Sh- like Crocs. You pretend. Pretend like it's college. <laughs> yeah. Like Crocs. I, I, Usually you I get mean, like slides. I know. Yeah. But Crocs could be showered. Mm-hmm. Do you think it would pool? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. Crocs are like, Crocs don't have like good grip. You know, they're mm, like pretty yeah. slick. They would kind of slip. I actually have never owned a pair of Crocs. I'm not surprised. I had never owned a pair of Crocs until I met Susie. Should I get some? Are they? I think, I mean, they're very comfortable when they're slip-ons. I mean, I've got Burks. Yeah, but I mean, you know. They give you a little more, It's a different like, look. It is. Yeah. And, like, I mean, they're not good for, like, when it's wet, but I feel like a croc, like, like I like sandals, like Birkenstocks, but I have stubbed my toe pretty bad mm. when wearing them, whereas Crocs, I haven't done that before. I so. will say, yeah, sometimes, like, walking in the city with stocks, mm. no socks, mm-hmm. little, I'm like, I might step on something, I might s- yeah, kick up scary. some glass. Yeah. Yeah. I would imagine a... A syringe going into my Just, toe. It's like at the perfect <laughs> angle. <laughs> like, oh, I have to get my toe amputated. Yeah. All because I didn't have Crocs. <laughs> hey, bitch, you gotta solve this problem. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. That was a good detour. I don't even remember what we were talking about. Well, love, love birthdays, our lives. Brennan's turning thirty we're 30 flirty and thriving that's Ooh. true okay Stop. alfie that's alfie Stop. enough snuck in there it's Alfie, enough. enough we are done you are off the podcast you are f- oh Dude, wait, I've, just, I've been thinking oh he's really resistant he leave. He said, he's I resisting arrest live here he's resisting arrest that he actually is that was so funny i wish you guys <laughs> could see this i've been thinking about how you know, people are really obsessed with saying, like, you are enough. Oh, yeah. You know? Which, it's a nice sentiment, but also kind of doesn't mean anything. Right? It doesn't, Like, yeah. And then I've also, I was thinking about how people say, enough is enough. You know? Which kind of isn't a positive. No, it's not. So, so I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm I just like, thinking, I see, you yeah. are enough, and enough is and enough. And enough is enough. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> yeah, because you know what? Telling someone you are enough is kind of a way to shut them down. Yeah. Yeah, when they're going. It doesn't like, really help. It, it doesn't. It's a nice sentiment, but yeah, like, what does that mean? 
Yeah, it enough just like to. I don't know. Like I, you know, I associate it. Yeah, just like when you're like going through it, and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm, you're I like, I'm not good enough. Or, I'm not, yeah, yeah. You yeah. don't love me, and you're like, you are enough. You're as enough. You are. You right? are an end in yourself. I mean, that was the plot of the Barbie movie. Do you guys not watch that? <sighs> I did you watch it. Enough. You're enough. No, it's good, but also most of the time when we say enough. It's like enough. enough. I've had, had enough. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we've had the limit of it. Yeah, I don't know. Just so much. I about like. Today. No, I I get where you're going because yeah. because I mean I get it. It's because you're generally gonna say that to somebody that kind of won't stop talking, <laughs> talking about their problems. Listen, babe, you're enough. You're Shut enough. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Move on. Get you're a new beautiful. Girlfriend. You are loved. You are enough. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. That. I'm not getting a good enough slurp. Okay, 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 okay. okay. The spits for the okay. audio listeners. <laughs> <laughs> and Brendan shut me down. And Brendan shut her down. <laughs> <laughs> looking out for, I'm looking out for the listeners. Another top ten list, <laughs> except my boyfriend shot, shot me down. down. <laughs> Number 10, my racist rant. <laughs> what is the list of? <laughs> Number nine, um, that time my boyfriend shot me down. Are you going to give a specific example? No, this is a top 10 list. The top 10 list of times he shut you down. He shut you down, yeah. That's why I said number oh! 10. Number 10, he shut me down during a racist <laughs> rant. Number nine, he shut me down. When I was trying Guys, to kick a kid. I was not following this bit very well. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Okay. Number nine. <laughs> <laughs> you already, we already did number that nine. That time I kicked a kid. <laughs> Should we do top ten list? I number have to stop doing seven. this podcast with you. I can't do this anymore. That time I forgot number eight. <laughs> Are you having fun? <laughs> New suggestion yes. for the podcast. Top 10 lists? Uh, yeah, people love top 10 lists. Mm-hmm. That's a really clippable thing as well. Mm, what that's if we, true. What if we did a a top 10 list of the pod of the week? Or the whenever the whenever episode. Whenever we do it? Top and, 10 uh, what? And Anything? yeah, it's just top 10. And then we just Google a random word. Okay. Or, or, or a concept. Get a random word generator up. Now, these can be pretty unpredictable. Okay, it's going to say, like, top 10 theoretical. You know? <laughs> be like, top 10 slimy. Slimy. <laughs> slimy. Number 10, the shower mat and bean shower. <laughs> she says it's really gross, but it's just because she okay. pees on it and doesn't <laughs> wash it. I do pee in the shower. Who doesn't? Okay, it says burn. <laughs> Top 10 burn. You want, you want to do burn? I was going to generate one. That because I don't know if I feel like going deep into this. Okay, let's do a top five. Top three. Top three. Okay. Top three volumes. <laughs> <laughs> you she fucking nailed it. Holy it was, crap. It wasn't three. <laughs> no, the last one was so quiet. Oh, yeah, okay, you just couldn't hear, yeah, hear it. I just okay. kind of blew into the mic, so hopefully that'll translate. <laughs> Top three. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Number 10. Alcatraz. The- <laughs> <laughs> Number nine. Plant. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. Excel. <laughs> D4. <laughs> Okay, that my good. taxes spreadsheet. <laughs> 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 okay, see, top ten list is a hit. Mm. Also, you should probably put these on screen. Oh, or, true. Um, Sorry, guys. The word was sell. The word, the was, word was sell. C L L. Perfect. Okay. Which this is. Top ten community <laughs> number three anime. <laughs> Um, number two, the Appalachians. <laughs> okay. Is that a place? Is that yeah. a community? 
Your turn right now. Oh, I, I, I number, number one. one. <laughs> yeah, number one. Number Friend, one. We know what it is. Come on, you got this. The furry. Yes. Yeah, the furry <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> you guys are sleeping on Appalachia. <laughs> I mean, I think we are. I've not been there. <laughs> <laughs> Top three category. <laughs> number three, volume. <laughs> number two, sell. Uh, 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 number one, earthquakes. Category. Category three, earthquake. Yep. We're just naming the categories we already did yeah. <laughs> you could have said category i liked it that was fun um <laughs> we don't have to keep i say we do it. one more one, one more, more. Okay. Be good. this is the last one <laughs> <laughs> okay this is good number three that time my mom apologized for hitting me <laughs> <laughs> number two the piece of it at ihop <laughs> That I will go into detail later in this podcast. <laughs> and uh, number one, the birds and the bees yeah. with your dad. Woo! Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, you know, Brendan, that was a hit. That was <laughs> fun. That was <laughs> I doubted it. Top three no. list. Great. Brendan has ideas. He has ideas and he shuts them down. We need to stop up with shutting him down. <laughs> <laughs> Top 10 times we shut down Brendan. That time we shut him down for shutting us down. <laughs> and it turns out he was right. <laughs> this is a bit so funny. <laughs> I this voice. Always funny. The show's voice. It always gets me. It's always good. Randair's really good at it. He'll Ugh. say... The last thing you'd expect in your Burger King burger. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Rinder? Why isn't he here? I told him he could come on. Yeah. He had a headache. Oh. oh poor guy. Oh. Husbands are always saying they're they have always, headaches. You say, you say, give me the business. Say, right. come on my podcast. And he's like, ah, I've got a headache. Oh, I ow. Oh. Wham, wham, oh, wham. And what is he doing now? Probably streaming. Streaming. Like streaming. Fucking, I've got a parasocial relationship with my streamer boyfriend yeah. now. Kind of a dream come true, honestly. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> honestly, yeah. So, guys, you might have heard a little snippet um, about the peace summit at IHOP. Number two. Um, Number two. And I did want to talk about that a little bit. Um, okay, let's get into I, it. I, I fear that the if I went into it too deep, the episode would turn into eight hours long. Well, it is really fun. Also, but, okay, how much do you want to get into it? Let's, yeah, I mean, let's, what are our okay. boundaries? Can here? I be honest? None of the people there listen to this podcast. <laughs> That's true. So I'm they not. They could. They could. And you know what? I think it'd be fine if they did. I'm not going to. I'm not going to tarnish Because you know what? Reputation. Before they get to this section, they'll have to listen to our top 10 lists. And those were gold. Those were fucking so. Exactly. So anything I say that could upset them, they won't even be able to feel upset because they had Because they're time. still laughing. Yeah, they're still laughing. About top three discussions. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Um, and I just feel like, I feel like the best parts of a podcast are when people give too much of their personal life and you're like, that's so funny and stupid. Yeah, dude. I'm... So I want to share... That's my gift to you all. I'm open to this. I'm excited to hear what what I say. What you have to say. Well, and for a brief synopsis, do you guys How remember, do we make this brief? Well, <laughs> I just wanted to say for the for the for the long-time listeners, you guys might remember when All four we of you. got uninvited from a wedding because of our Yeah, ex. and we did not go into detail. We didn't cuz we were like ah. I didn't even say that it was your brother's wedding. Oh, yes. Which by the way, it was her brother's wedding. My brother. Who I've known since I was got married. 7. <laughs> since you were seven years old seven years old yeah no he got married beans x who was my friend and, and my brother's friend for many years before dating bean um is still not over it uh still making it a ma specifically making it everyone's problem that he's not and it has been almost three years <laughs> i'll stop through this voice <laughs> three years yeah and you know listen we're not gonna spend time going over about whether or not three years is enough time to get over a breakup <laughs> listen that's another discussion to be had um 
but it's kind of not great to make that your friend's problem yeah um, and yeah so i mean the the kind of a big climax of the issue was specifically you getting uninvited from a wedding for from you know a dear friend of yours that's my brother and and by the way i don't want to make him look bad for uninviting me because oh yes like he sort of texted me that like my ex didn't want me to come to the wedding and as soon as i expressed any yes that i was upset he was like oh my god i didn't think you'd be upset and like backpedaled so yes. no absolutely no hate we've talked through everything is yes that's very right. that, good that is an important caveat i want that to be i don't want to throw them under the bus at all well and because crucially i think one of the reasons why he thought you wouldn't care is maybe because of the way your ex speaks about you to your friend i did get that impression because yeah. i was surprised that he was surprised you know mm-hmm. i'm like oh man yep things yep. have gotten warped yeah, well, in talking to some people, too, it, it has, you know, been made apparent that, yeah, your ex does talk about you in a very negative way to other people. Um, I mean, that's just right, I guess. You know, yeah, people can say whatever they want behind each other's backs, but it <laughs> is notable because um, it's just in the culmination of events that have happened. But basically, you guys, to, to keep it brief which i cannot do it cannot be done it cannot be (laughs) buckle up for another like couple hours at least least three um but yeah so that wedding situation happened it was ridiculous Mm -hmm. but we thought we got through we thought we everything was fine i was invited my boyfriend was invited it was great Uh, my ex and i talked before the wedding so that we wouldn't be seeing each other for the first time right yeah 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 which was your dad's idea Mm -hmm. genius man so Theoretically, it all went down. The and the wedding, wedding was really it fun. was so fun. It was super fun. We Your played ex, rock band together. We played rock band. Like, it seemed like we were actually being fucking adults. Just and normal like, people. Seemed like we were all getting along, actually. Not only was it, like, tolerable, it was like we were getting along. We were chatting. We were hanging. Um, but then, you know... I don't know, a couple months later, it comes up that your ex is like, I don't, I don't even want to think about. That was traumatic. Ever. Yeah, that was traumatic. And it's like, hey, man. Hey, dude. Um, uh, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Maybe don't make this your friend's problems, though. You yeah. know, they had a lovely wedding that you got to be at. That is not their fault that that was traumatic for you, that your ex was there. Um, no one likes seeing their ex. Sure. Unless you're, like, still friends. Yeah. But you can be an adult for important events. Yeah, and, y- again, you, you be don't a have big to boy. tell everyone your innermost thoughts that yeah. you should keep to yourself, you know? Yeah. Maybe you don't have to tell everyone that. Um. The, so the reason I bring this up, of course, is that... Basically, I have been feeling like for the past couple years that, you know, this old group of friends of mine have really not put in an effort to you know come to our, come to our parties like brendan and i throw because this, uh, this group of friends by the way i like fully extricated myself from yes, crucially like, after the and, and, and you were a very big part of it too when you you and your ex were together mm-hmm. which was you know good for me because i was like cool all my friends are hanging out together and they're all friends with each other and then you very graciously removed yourself once you guys broke up and you were like you you took the burden of responsibility. You said, "All right." I was like, "I don't want the like people to have to pick sides." Yeah, I'll just hang out, hang back for a while. I had other I had other friend groups that were kind of developing. Right. Yeah. And yeah, my ex kind of didn't, mm-hmm. so I was like, mm-hmm. "This is the best for everyone." He was def- aside from you because you and I are like best yeah. friends, but he was definitely closer in general with yeah. a lot of the people in the group. So. I love that we're just getting into this three years later. <laughs> just fucking the breakdown. It's time. I should have hey. done a PowerPoint. No, it, that would have been great. Maybe we'll do it next week. Yeah. <laughs> just here's the full time. Because everything's out on the table now. It is, I mean, it's like I said, if it's been three years and it's still a problem, like it's interfering with both our lives. Both of Because I was like, I wasn't talking to people about it. Yeah. You were in that you group. Were I was like. Being as respectful as possible in the yeah. whole situation. I, I would, but so at this point. Well, I mean, how how can you be respectful when like so many things have just culminated and like other other people besides us getting affected? <laughs> by yeah, it. which is crazy. It's crazy. 
Um, Sorry, I'll let you. No, no, this is good because it's, it's just good. It's world building. We're, we're building doing. a universe um, in which we live. In which we live. <laughs> this is our daily life. Um, no, but okay. So basically, like because of this uh, this cycle of events that have just kind of gotten more and more severe, and I guess just maybe more and more apparent to to us, like me and Brendan in particular. Like it's just kind of like every party. Well, and uh, obviously, I've also, we've distanced ourselves, too. We just kind of had to. You grow up, you move, you do shit. Like, you're not going to be as close as you once were. I think Mm -hmm. that's pretty normal. A lot of people moved away. Yeah. Exactly. (laughs) But I would still think that throwing out an invitation to a group of, like, 12 people or so, um, you would get, some of them would come or at least tell you if they're not going to make it to, like, big events. Um like birthday parties and housewarming parties and stuff like that. But it's been a pretty consistent pattern that none of these old friends will come to our parties or tell us if they're not going to come to a party. Um, it kind of culminated last year, actually, where there was like a secret party that they had without me and didn't tell me about. Which is crazy because I would never, I was never invited to that party. Course, I wasn't in that yeah. group anymore. Yeah. Susie isn't me. And there was other drama right it wasn't yes just the yeah ex it was thing. my ex best friend which is so we both have exes we both have these toxic exes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um and it was just you know th- and it that that particular event might not necessarily be directly correlated to your ex but it mm-hmm. indicated everything about this group of people this group of friends of ours so it was a friends going away party yeah but yeah. like it wasn't just a party it was like this person was like is a moving pretty big event and then the, yeah. the worst part is i just found out by accident somebody yeah. let it slip in front of me and i was like what party are you talking about which is just ridiculous to happen when you're 25 years old like that's it's like what got oh to me man. and i said i'm we're not 20 we're not like 19 we're like fucking adults and it's we like have time to be past this yeah you can just say things to each other so i i I say that just to kind of be like i'm not it's it's not the end of the world that this group of people is drifting away but like a few weeks ago brendan made this nice invitation for a birthday party sent it to the group chat and then we were told in a very casual way that like three people would not be there not be coming to our party because of a trip they were taking but just in kind of a way that felt really like in like um inconsiderate to like you know the fact that this is like a it was a group birthday party for both myself brendan and mckenna because we have birthdays back to back we live in the same house it's gonna rock and um, it's gonna it's gonna go hard oh it's gonna go so hard um and i was just like and it's so funny, but that was just finally my breaking point because I guess the, the other thing was that I remember when Brendan had put the invitation in the group chat, I said to him, they're all going to find an excuse not to come. Like I said it as kind of like a cynical, like bitch thing to say, but I was like, I bet you they're all going to have a great reason for not coming. <laughs> and then a day later they said, by the way, we are all going on a trip. We're all going on a trip to visit a different friend. Yes. Yes. Crucially a different trip. And then... I mean, after talking to my brother, uh, he f- he let me know that this trip was not a trip he was aware of. So it was kind of a secret trip secret, <laughs> that they planned, secret, um, which is cool. I love secrets. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Anyways, so that just set me off. I said, you know what? You know what? I have been having these feelings. I've been having these thoughts. And honestly, I don't. It's, I don't know what the best course of action to take when people are annoying you like this or when people are kind of hurting you like this. Like, I generally take a more passive route because I right. say, what's the point of talking to somebody if we're just not meant to be close anymore, you know? Yeah, like, let it die. Let it die. But with this group of people, it's pretty hard to do that with. And I don't hate them, crucially. I mean, they're, like... You know, I have relationships with them, and I have good memories with them all. And I, I, I you would, guys have been friends since it's like middle school. Yeah, it's like I an think. old group. Yeah, and again, you don't have to remain friends with people. Like it's no. totally fine. But I just figured I'd like I should just say what I'm thinking, right? You know, at this point, and it really so much of the frustration and the pain that I've been feeling comes back to the fact that <laughs> your ex is like making it's so embarrassing our lives very difficult while never being held accountable for the way he's doing it's actually so embarrassing because every now and then things he says will get back to me 
and I'm just like, I just like, cr- I cringe. <gasps> like my soul cringes out of my body, you know? Like I just I hate that. I loved this person for six years. I just like, ev- I hate that I'm even tangentially involved and in that he's like using it to just like make other people's lives worse. Yes. It's like, yes. I know I'm not directly involved, but it's like, it feels bad. Like, Your I, name's getting dragged. I mean, don't use my name to just like fucking hurt people. Like, yeah. But p- try to tell people who they can't invite to their wedding and other events and yeah. not invite you to things or not go to your things right it's yeah it's like no it's it's uh, it's great i mean it's just if wild. you don't want to be in a situation and you're an adult it is your job to remove yourself from that you situation. don't go yeah. you don't go you don't tell other people because he did t- try to do it again yes recently with a baby shower a baby shower so that was fun yep yep hasn't yeah. learned his lesson hasn't from learned. the wedding um yeah and so i mean i just i i really laid it all out there in the in the group chat um and then basically it culminated in <laughs> your ex first of all never responding to the fact that i called him out by name three times mm. i said this is happening because this person is making their feelings like more important than everyone else's yeah so he never responds to any of that um but he does the next day he says let's have a peace summit at ihop at ihop and i said that is crazy (laughs) and then i said but that i'm going that is a good time that is a a great idea summit a peace why call it a peace at ihop at ihop where servers have to come and interact with you and interact with you while you're all hashing it out hashing crying out, crying it out um and they're like here's your smiley face pancakes here are your, smiley, here are your pancakes <laughs> um and yeah i mean sorry i guess burping into the mic sorry about that um and i mean it was about as awkward as you might think um, i'm so mad i know that i should not be there but god i wanted to be there i mean in a sense i think we it i mean we shouldn't but it would be so justifiable to insist we have a peace summit with your ex and you too. <laughs> because so if funny. we're going to go down this route of like, let's talk things. I out, would do it too. Right? Like, it's like, I am, I am so fully moved on. Yeah. Well, I really <laughs> need him to confront that. Cause I yeah. just don't think he has. Right. Yeah. I don't think he understands that you are not the 17 year old girl that he fell no. in love with. Right. It's like, you're this you're a 26 year old woman who who god knows what she's doing i know? don't know dude yeah because <laughs> when we broke up i hadn't i was barely i had barely started comedy i wasn't medicated right. i wasn't finished with my degree i like had was making no money i don't know just so many things that make my life what it is now yes didn't exist and i was like struggling a lot and i didn't know who i was so it's like to still be hung up on that version of me is crazy. It's, it's crazy and and truly like she doesn't exist and she was not that great. She was the, <laughs> no, because I think she was awful. The biggest thing was just that you were his girlfriend. Yeah. You know, and that's and that's what's become really apparent now in all this is that like he wants to, he wants his girlfriend back. Yeah. Right? He does it's not It's who not you me. Are. It's, it's not, not about you. me. It's just that he lost having a girlfriend because so much of like what, you know, what you two were together was that you loved each other and you mm-hmm. were his girlfriend and he's your boyfriend. And so it's very apparent to me that it's like, yeah, wow, that's not, you don't, it's not her. It's mm-hmm. not my best friend that you we have. We don't even problem. know each other anymore. Yeah, you don't know. And like, she's fucking awesome. But you can just be <laughs> friends with her. Hey, you don't I even been, have to be friends. You can be cordial. I know. And I know. And I, I know it's crazy of me to suggest that you be friends. And I'm yeah. sorry that I even threw that out. As an idea. I know that's very traumatic for me to suggest <laughs> this is to him. I'm addressing him. I, I know mean, it's really traumatic that I suggested that. And I'm sorry. I was hoping we could be friends someday. <laughs> yeah that's not happening yeah i don't know i won't because he's okay and that's the other thing is a lot of things would have to change for me to want to be friends he would have to get a full lobotomy i think (laughs) (laughs) sorry guys i I don't i wish him like nothing but all the best right i mean but like like 
as you don't want somebody to be unwell no but yeah like the things he's since the breakup and in the relationship right. leading up to the breakup like it was a mess it of, was a disaster relationship um yeah like the things he said and done i'm just like i don't know yeah well if we would even be friends <laughs> no and i mean that that was kind of the realization that i had as i said i'm not there's no point for me being friends with this person. Um, yeah. I think the big thing... Oh, sorry. Not in the current state of things, at no. least. Yeah. But just in general, I mean, like, this did prompt me to take... You know, or to, to evaluate, like, why I was friends with this person. And it came back to, like, it's... it's um at proximity to proximity people that i got yeah. along with very well right and that's not necessarily a bad reason to be friends with a somebody. lot of friendships are that right yes yeah a but lot of relationships. It does, it's notable when this person has a history of making you feel bad and making people you care about feel bad and that's what that's what also came yeah. down to because there were times where you guys were dating where he made me feel bad and he mm-hmm. made you know my brother feel bad Same. And it, yeah, <laughs> yeah where he made you feel bad and um it just dawned on us where we were like huh this is not a friendship that we necessarily need to maintain. But he suggested the peace summit, so I said I have to go. So I can confront him. I can look him in his little eyes, and I can tell him how he made me feel. This man fucking suggested a peace summit at IHOP. We are at this IHOP, 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 for three fucking hours. You know, you want to know how much he talked, Brendan? Tell them them how much he talked in total. (laughs) please after sorry and let me be clear i did confront him i said you are making it everyone's problem that you decided to take a risk and date my best friend you took a risk every relationship every is relationship a risk is because a risk. it either ends in a breakup or death you know you're gonna have to there is no with love it. without loss my friend i'm sorry you just you took a fucking risk and now it's everyone's problem and i just can't deal with that okay brennan how much <laughs> did he talk uh maybe about five to ten <laughs> I am worried about him a little bit. Yeah. I know I shouldn't be. No, that's just why you're a good person. That's why you can't get I'm over you. I'm not that good of a person. But like, That's why you can't get over you, bitch. <laughs> but Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, that was harsh. I am an acne-riddled, tiny, emaciated, mentally Don't ill... Don't fall in love with <laughs> you again, by the way. Quasimodo-esque <laughs> profile <laughs> of a person. <laughs> like... She hates animals. She hates joy. I don't like pets. I don't like. <laughs> I don't want to have kids. Oh, uh, that's he a didn't big know one. if he wanted to have kids. Yeah, I I hate anime. He oh loved anime. my god, even bigger. Yeah, I hated Elon Musk. He loved Elon Musk. Mm. I was a raging leftist. He didn't know what he was. <laughs> it's like we weren't compatible. Yeah, there's just nothing. Really. And it took a it took me a long time to realize that, which is cringe. But yeah. it is. Yeah. That's what it is. And so to still be behaving this way <sighs> and acting this way, like, I mean, I just, I'm like, I I want a better life for you right. than this. Right, this yeah, is not truly it. from the bottom of your heart, you're like, you invested a lot of years I want into this person. to like, get an invite to your wedding. Yes. In the mail. Like, I would be so happy. Right? I I feel like it's... It was a long relationship, but I was 16 when we met. <laughs> right. Let let dead Dedicum. dogs lie, you yeah. know? Like, acknowledge it for what it is. Realize that it wasn't what you thought it was. <laughs> and th- learn from it and build a better life. That's yes. what breakups yes. are for. That's what you do and they, they always hurt and they always suck. Mm-hmm. And there's no way around it. Yeah. There's no, everything in life hurts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everything worth living for will hurt you at some point. Yeah, that's like, just, it sucks. It's, it's, just, just, it's just how it is. Just how it is. I feel like a stoner right now. Uh, like, uh, it's just well, love and, I, and loss I, and I think grief. that's what it, it just kept coming back to and talking to, you know, people I'm close with, my brother, about the whole thing is we were just like, it's so obvious that like, like we have all been through pain like this yes. like i'm sorry but like ha- the fact that i am best friends with you also like i n- understand the pain of losing someone you love like that but then also i know who you are as a person and i know you never go out of your way to do something hurtful no. and so it's Try like not to we were just talking about it we we're like this fucking guy 
is and making it, such a big it's, deal. It's okay to still be hurt. Sure. It's, it's I mean fine. I, I'll debate you on that, but <laughs> like, um but no, yeah. Some like, some grief stays with it you. It stays with you. You can yeah, you can always more I mean you can always be like you can be like I loved and lost and it's the one that it got is, away. You can be one of those weirdos. You can have that, but it's the way you behave and the way that you talk to it's people. Making it everyone's and problem. It's the way that you just he, he doesn't seem to be trying. No, he's not. He, like it yeah. kind of feels like you know when you talk to people where like they just have some sort of pain and that has become <laughs> that's their identity their entire identity and it's like you can't let go of it because you're scared of who you'll be you without are, it yeah. hey i've been there hey when i was a teenager <laughs> like yeah. it's time <laughs> there's so much more oh man dude and it's i mean i guess it just comes back to the thing where his identity was your his relationship with you and now his identity is that you broke up <laughs> and I, I hate to say it, but that's the, the vacuum that's the that must be filled yeah yeah i hope it's something else soon yeah you know anything anything begging mm, within reason pleading you um yeah i wish nothing more chaotic had happened at the peace summit like i actually wish we had a blow-up fight at it's the just really summit. funny that it was at ihop <sighs> and also that he didn't talk. He didn't fucking say a word. I keep... Oh, wrap up? Sorry, Brennan. Have we been going? Just tell us how long it's been. You can... You can. Hey, King, you can voice your you, opinion. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I don't know. You, 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 I'm going to keep going. going. I say three-hour episode. Let's go. Okay. Um, <laughs> three-hour epi. What was he even going to say? I have, no, I have nothing um, to say anymore. Um, He didn't talk. Yeah. yeah, he didn't talk. Um, I mean, crucially, too, like... My brother also confronted him about it, cause mm-hmm. uh, and that's what it, the thing is. Cause like, he's been, your brother's been through the ringer with it. Cause yes. he is so, like, just the most compassionate. Like, yes. wants to make people happy. That's why I have like no ill will for him initially on inviting me, cause he truly was just like he thought he was making the he best. He was decision. like, I'm worried about my friends. Yes, I don't think Bean will care. Like, he's just trying to do what he thinks yes. is right. And that's what also pissed me off the most is because ultimately I was like, you're also taking advantage taking advantage of, of that. A hundred percent. The kindness of my brother and your other friends. Because and- he was planning a wedding. This is the le- and he and his fiance they after they got me a gift basket and oh we like God. talked. They and felt I was, terrible. And yeah, I was like, like, you guys, this is the last thing you should be worrying mm-hmm. about. Like I just feel so bad. Like I the gift basket was so sweet, but just the thought of like trying to plan a wedding and you have to like go to the grocery store and put together a gift basket because of this whole situation <sighs> that someone dragged you like, into. It's I'm like my ex. My- it's humiliating, dude. I'm like plan your wedding, please. I'm excited to be there. Oh man. Yeah. No, it's it was crazy. Um oh, I guess what I was saying is initially is I wish we had a blow up fight because I that think that would funny. just be more cathartic and ultimately what needs to let happen. everyone get it out, get it out. And then maybe decide you hate my fucking guts <laughs> and never want to speak to me. And I think that would be OK. <laughs> um, but instead, it's just this weird sort of dance where like I'm really good friends with his sister and his sister's still good friends with me. But you're my best friend. And now people feel weird. And it's like. This is his problem and his problem alone. Like, I hate to tell you I still you miss his sister. His sister is like, you know, she's been a good friend of mine since middle school. We and were, it's like... We were really close. Yes, because you guys lived together. Yeah. And like, oh man, it's so crazy. It's also just crazy to me that people, like, if you're dating, you're a value to them. And therefore, people and their families and their life are like, okay, you're a value. But then you break up and you're like, you're no longer a value to me. Like, I guess that's what's also kind of messed up to me in the whole situation is this person that you were all, you guys were all friends with for six fucking years. Mm -hmm. And you've decided that you're going to take the side of a man that can't get over a breakup (laughs) after three years rather than evaluate the fact that this person that's amazing is like, like just you they happen to grow apart like what are we what are we doing here but i, I do understand it's her brother like it's i, hard I to, need to I stop it. hearing this this justification <laughs> for insanity because i have three brothers <laughs> and i have been good friends with their exes in the past you know like you can move yeah, on like, but i mean you can disconnect that it you is, didn't it's do hard anything to mean. hold that against her i like but the thing is you've been saying that for three years yeah you've been saying that for three years because i'm so you know sick what? and tired because relationships end and it's okay yes <laughs> it's okay but thing. i'm fucking sick and tired i'm still in the middle of it I that's know. what i'm saying like i know he's making it my problem that's what i hate too is because i 
the only reason I'm involved in this is because I know, because I'm your best friend. So You're I my best hear friend. about everything, but actually, I haven't talked to him since the wedding. Right. And before that, we hadn't talked pretty much since the breakup. Right. So it was like, it's weird. I'm, I know so much, but I'm actually, and he's talking about me so much, and I'm the topic of conversation, but like, I am never there. Topic. I am never around. It's amazing. Yeah. It's a very weird feeling. It's I'm like, weird. This, it's, it's, it's kind of creepy. I'm going to be honest. Hey, it's a little creepy. At this point, it's getting, it's getting a little creepy. I'm, hey, I don't man. like to say that. Oh, man. There's, oh, it man. does not make me feel well. No, I mean, that's that's the whole thing is I'm like, it doesn't make me feel good at all that anyone like, I don't know. I'm just like, guys, we can we can just accept that our relationships have changed and we can still be friends, but it just doesn't need to be what it used to be. Yeah. Right. That's like that's, And people have a really hard time with that, I guess, sometimes it's either all or nothing, I think, for a lot of people. And this isn't that uncommon in breakups yeah. either. A lot of times friend groups. No, but this is weird. This it, is weird. This you, one, you know, it's weird I, because I like fully stepped away from yes. the group and it's still a problem. What I want to go I back to. I'm not my, there and it is a problem. My initial point too, though, is that like it, it upsets me too, just in general, that people can be like, oh, this person is my friend for six years. And then it goes back to one guy being like, I yeah. don't want to ever think about this person ever again. So I'm going to talk about her all the time. I'm going to talk about her all the time, but so you guys cannot I hang out with her. Yeah. It's, right? Like, that's what bothers me. I really... I don't have any ill will toward anyone in the friend group. Like I, I do. And that's that's <laughs> that's good. It, it does make me sad because we were friends for a long time. It's weird. I guess that... I mean, ultimately, what it just come back to is I'm like, it's kind of weird, right? Like, it's kind of... Like, I'm like, have you guys considered that that is kind of a weird thing to just be like, oh, okay it's weird that yeah no there's n- no friendships have been carried on yeah. outside of the group right because it makes sense if i'm not in the group anymore but yeah i don't talk to an- to anyone yeah and i i don't know i guess like also there's a part of me that like wishes they just did that with me too <laughs> like if like if we're gonna be like just this touch, yeah you like shit or get off the pot i keep saying that right you do keep that's saying my that, motto this and it keeps month. it's so relevant right because i guess maybe that's also my frustration is i'm like Am I your friend or am I not? Am I not? If you're yeah. having secret parties without me, you're maybe having secret just parties don't be friends me. with me. And you hate my best friend. Yeah. Because that's the other thing. Why want to be friends with somebody that you hate their best friend? It's don't on my be- don't do anything on my behalf. I don't think they, I hate my I don't best friend. Th- <laughs> yeah, we all um, hate our best friends. <laughs> I don't think anyone. I understand hates that you don't want to be doing anything on your behalf. I'm sorry, but it's just gonna happen because I love and care about you. Because guess what, Pete? That's what you do for people you love and care I'm about. Gonna cry. Shut up. <laughs> no and i, I mean, but well, I, and I, I mean it from a selfish position like it's just yeah. like this is the person these two people in this room are two of the people i i love most in the world and it's crazy like if anyone was like i hate this person <laughs> i would be like i don't know that we can really get along you know yeah. like i un- like i can understand if neither of them are your most favorite people in the world sure fine. totally fine but it's like i don't know just getting back to the root of it it's like why want to be friends with me if you hate my bet, I don't know. But that's what I hate. That's why this bothers me is because it's hurting you. Right, right. And like I keep saying, I'm not there. Right, you're And like, you are being punished for something that had nothing to do with you. For a crime you committed. For a crime I committed. <laughs> I illegally broke up with my boyfriend. You legally broke up with him and you broke his soft heart. I broke his heart, man. It hurts to have your heart broken. It does. I mean, you wouldn't know, by the way, you've never been through anything. My heart wasn't broken. You've never been through anything hard. I broke up with him, even though my heart was fully together. (laughs) (laughs) You actually, I remember um, you laughed really hard. I said, said, you're a short loser. That's what I heard. I heard you say that because you put me on speakerphone when you're breaking up. I dated you for this song just for this moment. (laughs) (laughs) I've been plotting this. My heart has never been broken. It's never been broken. This relationship. I actually don't feel pain. I don't feel pain. Yeah. Anyways, that's it's a- fine. I understand being the dumper, being the dumpy, is you're blindsided. Sure. That's what people always say, right? Because like my right. heart was broken too, but it was slow and over time. Yeah. Whereas when you're the dumper, you've had time 
to process that. Yeah. And so you're a little farther so along. It's, yeah, it's it's a jarring like It's jarring oh for the other person. It's it a feels sudden world break. Shattered. Yeah. But generally speaking, your world does build back up pretty quickly. It, it absolutely Especially can. when you have a group of great friends in your life which and when you're a healthy handsome uh high salary oh, earning yes. 26 year old man with the world at your <laughs> fingertips truly the world at like, your fingertips like damn dude no children no mortgage no obligations you can do anything anything you want, you want. is this what you want to be doing <laughs> <laughs> you get a nice car give us get a cool car what a cool ass with car a tight little exhaust pipe you know what i'm saying oh she said it I said hey it. guess what she said it get a get a dog oh hey that'd be a good thing to do too yeah get a hobby get a, get a hobby <laughs> get a go travel that's what if i was in his position dude i'd well, be traveling the travel. fucking world i mean i don't need to give too much but he did travel and it did not help oh that's a shame yeah Travel more. Hey, keep going. Keep going. Keep Go going. to the other side of the world. Globe please. trot, baby. You'll find it. You'll find what you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's hard. I don't. I don't. It's hard. It hurts. It's hard. Let's see. It's hard. It hurts. It's hard. It hurts. It's been going on for four hours. I need to call my doctor. <laughs> 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 I took too many Viagra's. <laughs> I thought this would heal my broken heart. You know, it's yeah. there's no timeline for healing, but there is a timeline for not being shitty to people. Yeah. So And that's that's what it always comes down to, right? It's like you can feel whatever you want to feel. Um but it's just like I you know, I guess and that's just what being an adult is too, I guess. It's just coming to the realization that there are just some people out there that are just trying to make their own lives more difficult than it they need to be feels like that sometimes yeah. and also yeah it's it's everyone's hurting man Every everyone's got hurts god everyone is always in pain like it's crazy actually it's yeah. funny too so many people in that group have had such intense breakups intense breakups and difficult relationships and difficult lives and times <sighs> and it's there's a lot. Maybe more recently than he has, actually. Hmm. And, you know, like, it's not the Olympics. It's the trauma Olympics. It's just to say, like, these are things you have to find a way to cope with. Yeah. In order to just, like, get, out, get just on. Just to, to live a good life. Yeah. Anyway. To live a good life is to make peace with your pain. You dominea. Is that That's what the Greeks called it? What do they call it? The good life. You dominate. Oh. I think I took one philosophy class. She's guys. amazing. This girl's I'm incredible. Really I'm really, really smart. And that's why I won't get over it when she dumps me. I would never. What would I do if I? D who would? <laughs> <laughs> who would yell at you? Who would yell at me? Who would I call after I have a weird conversation with my? mom <laughs> like <laughs> true that is true we always go back to that where we're like who else knows the lore you literally of have the context. full <laughs> lore of my life and it is it would just take way too long to catch someone else yeah up, so that's the problem pretty much i'm stuck here You're stuck, stuck, stuck in this stuck. relationship huh. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> um yeah anyways i hope all my friends listen to this episode that'd be really funny if they did um i f i hope that it wouldn't be that it wouldn't be anything new i don't think yeah no i don't think this so this is not this is old old yeah old tea Old. this no, tea's been sitting out on the counter for years it's true and you know what i will say that i, I and we've waited this long to spill it We've waited. We've waited maybe too long to spill. We should have been spilling it as it was fresh. I keep thinking that, dude, because after the breakup, I felt so bad. I yeah, and I just did everything I could think of to make it easier. Yeah, and not talk shit and not person. divulge the <laughs> reasons we broke up. But now I'm like, I should have been talking shit this whole time because that was his strategy. <laughs> like, and so the consequence of me being like, it was a. A bad relationship for us. We were incompatible. You know, it's not anyone's business. It happens. I'm not going to put them on blast. 
But the consequence is, like, now only he is telling the story. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a very one-sided... And all, like, rec- I don't want to get into it, but recently we were talking to a group and I, like, said one thing and they were that like, happened in the lead-up <gasps> to the breakup and they were like, what? Oh, uh, what the fuck? It's like, oh, he never told you that part. <laughs> we should block him. That's, That's what they crazy. said. We should block him. <laughs> it's crazy um, he left that out. Yeah, no, it, it's so funny. I mean, it's it's just it's it's silly it's goofy and and ultimately yeah i realize we just kind of need i mean i don't know i don't think confronting people all the time is a great idea but i do think if there's something that is really bothering you you should probably bring it up to everybody and that's hey that's on me i should have brought this up like two years ago (laughs) yeah because you yeah you know (laughs) you know I'll well, because it, it happened slow. Because at right. first he was recently heartbroken. We're like, of course, said, of course, you are. Give king. him the space. You are the king. <laughs> you are the king, and we are your serfs. <laughs> we are your serves. serfs. I will. I was like, I'll handle the apartment. I'll handle yeah, you did. All you did. All, yeah, I mean, you. That's the thing is, and still to this day, you are a great person. You are handling yourself well. You know, it is difficult, man. Better than everyone else. It is hard. Really. No. I'm no. I'm doing okay. Yeah. I'm doing my best. We're all doing our best out here. I mean, we are, yeah, that's true. Not him though, but everyone else. Is, yeah, <laughs> I could probably do a little better. Hey, I think you could maybe talk more than five minutes at the peace summit you work. <laughs> the IHOP peace summit. At IHOP. Well, I'm glad that I IHOP peace. I keep thinking that I should call. Him. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I'm calling him on my birthday. That's Just, what we're doing. Oh my god, group call. Just because that it's that it's an old habit where I'm like I can talk sense into him. Yeah, yeah. Because it's you like did. no, I can't. <laughs> you can't. It's now. too late for that. <laughs> um, I'm just glad IHOP Peace Summit is in the vernacular now. Yes, that now everyone is knows so it. Funny. Every time we get into a mild dispute, we say meet me at IHOP. Meet me at IHOP for summit. a peace summit. I'll be the one crying over my oh, waffles. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the one silently sitting in the corner, not saying anything. <laughs> Uh, yeah so anyways guys comment below what your favorite moment from the IHOP <laughs> summit was hope you guys enjoyed this long deeply personal yeah journey i'm it's yeah it's been so long now i'm like let's just spill it i feel like maybe we should do an episode where we just kind of try to think of a a timeline of like events god that would be so painful it would be funny though it might be i don't know because there's all the house stuff and uh, it would be maybe kind of funny to go into like the breakups that we've had because i also think my yeah. breakup with my best friend my other best friend <laughs> crucially not you um <laughs> not, yet. <laughs> not yet uh would be kind of funny to go into because that's also kind of a and i had a sh- i had a shitty uh high school breakup where i was absolutely <gasps> The related. worst person in that breakup well and related to this guy too i mean it's a, a little bit overlaps. yeah perhaps yeah yeah. And I was in the story too. But you know, always forget that part. I was Susie there too. was well, you're just always there, so I kinda <laughs> I'm always you know, there I'm suffering. Like, yeah. She's I'm like, hey, Bean, do you have time to hang out with I'm me? I'm like, too? hi, I hid your insulin. No, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Go find your insulin hog. I have to deal with my two boyfriends. You you and we were seventeen. <laughs> me juggling. This person isn't my girlfriend. They're just my best friend. <laughs> They're my best friend. It, that He's I have really to, upset at me for some reason. I, I don't have understand. to break up with them, I guess. They don't like me having a boyfriend. <laughs> that one. If you want to, if anyone deserves to still hate me after a breakup, it's that person. Yeah. May they. I, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, but to me, they were a little weird. So I, you know, <laughs> it's, it's fine. We were seventeen. Yeah. It was a mess. Well, I, I was fine. I was guiltless. Yeah, you've perfect. always been pristine. I've been I have a pristine in record, all this. Bernice. It's incredible. <laughs> Susie's done no wrong. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I've done this. Actually, no. <laughs> too much wrong. Too you're, much. you're a very good friend. Well, you are, too. You have so many reasons to not be my friend anymore. Here's the thing. I Every friend, you have a lot of reasons to not be their friend. It's true. Right? I mean, it goes back to the thing where relationships are... There's a certain level of pain that always... Always. Them, right? Mm-hmm. There's reasons to be frustrated and irritated and whatever, but it's like ultimately, if we're still coming together and making each other happy and 
caring about each other it's worth it right yes yeah it must be because we keep doing it <laughs> and it is funny i mean it's funny to think back on these things out and just be like yeah i handled that badly or like yeah that was a weird situation i feel like that's in. a crucial part of, of growing up you growing. know it's like you gotta look back and be like okay i would handle that better now yeah but i didn't have that yeah that hindsight or foresight so yeah exactly couldn't see hind nor four (laughs) no (laughs) hind no four (laughs) only ball only ball sight (laughs) locked in on those balls locked in from (laughs) ballhalla you think ballhalla is the afterlife i live in ballhalla now (laughs) an earthly delight (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that is fucking awesome that's so epic dude that's so fucking cool well i think this was a great episode i think brent is falling asleep you guys are in for a big treat it is midnight i don't know how it's, it's fucking oh apple watch alert it's exactly midnight that's incredible i'm so connected to the moon <laughs> <laughs> the moon <laughs> um that's a good place to wrap it up i think so i love you a lot I'm glad you're my friend. I'm gonna glad you're my friend. <laughs> this is yeah. sweet. Yeah. Happy friendship, everyone. Happy friendship and happy birthday to Susie and Brind. And Brind. And McKenna. And McKenna. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe below. <laughs> comment below. Com- yeah. The IHOP piece. Well, your favorite part of the IHOP piece summit. And comment below if you were at the IHOP piece summit. Comment below if you have a different opinion on the breakup between absolutely Bean and her ex. Am I the asshole? Reason. Yeah. <gasps> AITA oh. and then I type up the entire history. Wait, that would be funny to do an Am I the Asshole episode where it's us typing up like things we've done. We've to done. <laughs> that would actually be really fun. That would be really good. Uh, okay. It'd be tough though because I've never done anything wrong. Oh my god, good point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye guys. Bye. bye.